Hello everyone, 大家好 I'm Grace. This video is part two of my time word lesson. If you haven't watched part one, the link is in the description below. Okay, here is how today's video is gonna work. First, I will play a Chinese conversation that contains many time words. Then I'm gonna go over these important time words and phrases. And finally, we will rewatch the dialogue so you can test yourself and see whether you are able to pick out these words. By the way, feel free to download the transcript of today's dialogue. In the description below. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Hey, 问你哦，你害怕上台吗？有一点。其实我在上大学之前都非常害怕上台。我记得我小时候有一次突然被老师叫上台分享自己的故事，当时我脑袋一片空白，一开始完全不知道该讲什么。老师怎么会突然叫你们分享自己的故事啊？哦，其实老师前一天就提醒我们要做好准备，但我觉得老师一定不会点到我啊，所以我就没有做任何准备。哦，原来，那你上台之后呢？后来怎么样了？我站上台后，全班都看着我。我那时候就随便说了几句话。现在回想起来，那段时间真的非常尴尬。最后老师看不下去了，就把我叫下台，还叫我隔天去他的办公室见他。Okay, now let's learn several useful words for starting your story. To start, you may want to say once or one time. So in Chinese, you would say 有一次。有一次 ，for example， 有一次我去跑步的时候遇到了一个怪人。有一次我去跑步的时候遇到了一个怪人。有一次我去跑步的时候遇到了一个怪人。Once when I was out running, I encountered a weird person. 你还记得有一次我们一起来过这里吗？你还记得有一次我们一起来过这里吗？你还记得有一次我们一起来过这里吗 ？Do you still remember that time when we once came here together? 你还记不记得有一次我叫你去帮我缴信用卡费 ？When you want to talk about things that happened in the beginning, you can use this time phrase. 一开始，一开始。For instance, 一开始我们没想到这个解决方法。一开始我们没。想到这个解决方法，一开始我们没想到这个解决方法。In the beginning, we didn't think of this solution. 到新的工作环境，一开始可能会不适应。到新的工作环境，一开始可。能会不适应，到新的工作环境，一开始可能会不适应。Being in a new working environment, you might not be used to it in the beginning. 开始看到有人相信幸运性这种事，我觉得他应该不是白痴，就是弱智。Aside from 一开始 ，you can also use. Gang plus a verb to express the beginning of a thing or an action. For example, 我刚坐下，他就朝我走过来。我刚坐下，他就朝我走过来。我刚坐下，他就朝我走过来。I just sat down and then he walked towards me. 他刚上大学时，常常在校园里迷路。他刚上大学时，常常在校园里迷路。他刚上大学时，常常在校园里迷路。When he first went to college, he often got lost on campus. 
Next, if you want to express at that time, at that moment, you can say 当时, 当时, like 我当时不知道他对花生过敏 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 I didn't know he was allergic to peanuts at that time. 当时我没想那么多。当时我没想那么多。I didn't think that much at that moment. 当时啊，我要不是放心不下我们家国宾啊，我甚至都记好。There are other ways to express at the time, at the moment. For example, you can say. 当下, 当下, or 那个时候, 那个时候, 那时候, 那时候. Here are some examples. 他当下下的说不出话来, 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 he was so shocked that he couldn't even alter a word at that moment. 那个时候我们聊天聊得很开心 or 那时候我们聊天聊得很开心 那个时候 or 那时候我们聊天聊得很开心 那个时候我们聊天聊得很开心 or 那时候我们聊天聊得很开心 At that time, we chatted happily. 那个时候你的眼泪是不是真的? Next, there is a useful expression in the dialogue. That is 那段时间, 那段时间 It means that period of time. For example, 他刚分手的那段时间心情很低落 他刚分手的 那段时间，心情很低落。他刚分手的那段时间，心情很低落。He was pretty upset during the period of time when he and his girlfriend had just broken up. 那段时间我都没有看到他。那段时间我都没有。看到他那段时间我都没有看到他 During that period of time, I didn't see him at all. 那段时间的感觉就好像自己被世界遗忘 Now, if you want to express before something happens or before a certain time point, you can use this structure. Something 之前 之前 or 以前, 以前, or simply 前, 前. For instance, if you want to say we need to make a decision before tomorrow, you can say 明天之前我们要做好决定。明天之前我们要做好决定。or 明天以前我们要做好决定明天以前我们要做好决定 or 明天前我们要做好决定明天前我们要做好决定 Here is another example. If you want to say Before this happened, I didn't realize he was angry at all. You can say 在这件事发生之前,我根本没发现他在生气 事发生之前，我根本没发现他在生气。在这件事发生之前，我根本没发现他在生气。在这件事发生以前，我根本没发现他在生气。Or 
。在这件事发生前，我根本没发现他在生气。在这件事发生前，我根本没发现他在生气。The next expression is 前一天。前一天 it means the previous day. This phrase looks pretty similar to 前天前天 but remember they are different. 前一天 means the previous day of an event, and 前天 means the day before yesterday. So when you want to say the previous day, don't forget the e in the middle. Let's see some examples with 前一天我上台的前一天总是很紧张我上台的前一天总是很紧张。我上台的前一天总是很紧张。The day before I go up on stage, I always feel nervous. 考试前一天，他才发现他的课本不见了。考试前一天，他才发现他。的课本不见了。考试前一天，他才发现他的课本不见了。He realized that his textbook was gone only on the day before the exam. 我记得你走的前一天，把相机交给我。Contrary to 前一天 the previous day, if you want to say the next day, here is the phrase. 隔一天，隔一天 ，or 隔天，隔天。For instance， 如果我熬夜的话，隔一天就会很没精神。如果我熬夜的话，隔一天就会很没精神。如果我熬夜的话，隔一天就会很没精神。If I stay up late, I have no energy the next day. 吃完那顿饭后，隔天我肚子非常不舒服。吃完那顿饭后，隔天我肚子非常不舒服。吃完那顿饭后，隔天我肚子非常不舒服。After eating that meal, I felt very ill the next day. Now let's talk about how to express the concept of after and afterwards. So if you want to say after something happens or after a certain time point, you can use this structure: something or sometime, 之后，之后 or 以后，以后 or simply 后。后 For example, if you want to say after having lunch, where do you want to go? You can say, 吃完午餐之后你想去哪里？吃完午餐之后你想去哪里？吃完午餐之后你想去哪里 ？Or 吃完午餐以后你想去哪里？吃完午餐以后，你想去哪里 ？Or 吃完午餐后，你想去哪里？吃完午餐后，你想去哪里？其实我觉得他这种人也是蛮可怜的。希望我老了以后，我会跟他一样。If you want to say afterwards or subsequently in Chinese, you can say 后来，后来。For instance， 他原本不想去的，后来不知道为什么改变心意了。他。原本不想去的，后来不知道为什么改变心意了。他原本不想去的，后来不知道为什么改变心意了。Originally, he didn't want to go. But afterwards, he changed his mind somehow. Another example. 后来呢？后来呢？后来呢 ？What happened next? 后来才明白，如果你真的喜欢一个人，是不知不觉。Okay, finally, we're going to talk about finally. When you want to tell the other person what happened in the end, you can say 最后
最后, or 结果, 结果, for instance, 最后他决定说出实话, 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 finally he decided to tell the truth, 他们讨论了很久, 结果还是得不出结论, 他们讨论, 了很久，结果还是得不出结论。结果还是得不出结论。结果还是得不出结论。结果还是得不出结论。结果还是得不出结论。结果还是得不出结论。结果还是得不出结论。结果还是得不出结论。结果还是得不出结论。结果还是得不